Uh, okay, so I had to the so I took this sample apart and I removed the the acrylic baffles. The acrylic baffles were not working. <laughs> they were they were coming they were coming off. The acrylic was not the silicone did not bind to the acrylic as well as it should have or as well as I thought it would. And they were just too fragile. They were bowing, and there were just a lot of problems with um, the acrylic. Quarter inch acrylic I bought from Home Depot failed. Did not work for. Did not work work well for the the sump of this size with this much water pressure and stuff. It just wasn't good. So I went all out and um, ordered tempered glass baffles, like hardcore. The same exact material that the actual sump is made out of. That Starfire, <clears throat> Starfire uh, tempered glass from this company, Peninsula Glass Company. I liked all their stuff so far, and I have not, I have not opened this yet. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to open, it, open it up, take a look at the baffles. Um, so one thing I will say is, building it out of acrylic initially, the idea there was that I could make a mistake and it was okay because I could cut the acrylic up and, and cut it to the size I wanted, um, and that was good. You know, I was hoping to leave them there and not have to replace them once they ran, but they acted as more like a prototype. And so I was, I managed to find out exactly what sizes I needed and, you know, the dimensions of the pieces. Because once you order this stuff, and this is relative, this is like $100, this box, like what it cost um, in glass and like another 40 in shipping. So once you get this stuff ordered, you can't cut it. It's tempered, so you can't like, you know, you can't decide you want to cut an inch off the side or whatever. It won't, um, it doesn't work like that. So... You gotta make sure you get it right. You gotta one shot the order. That's the that's the key. So let's open this guy up. Let's see what let's see what is inside. This will be the third time I've ordered from this particular company, and uh, they have not messed up yet. The first two. Their boxes are always really serious business too. You pay a lot in shipping, but um, you're actually paying for handling. <laughs> you know, the way they package these boxes. Ow, God. No joke. Each one's different too, like depending on how many how much glass they send you, uh, it's packaged in with a different sort of technique. This one appears to be Born out of the bubble, or the bubble, what do you call this stuff? Uh, popcorn. Traditional popcorn. Alright, so that's what was in there. So there's a box with peanuts on each end, and those, those peanuts bound the two ends of the box so that if you were to drop it in the box like that onto its side, the peanut layer would absorb it. Only, only a direct crush on the from the this side of the box down onto it would probably break the glass. It's really, it's really smart, I think. Finally, come to the glass. And uh, for, first of all, it's not broken. That's <laughs> I think that's the number one, the number one thing we care about. Yeah. Actually, here, let's just go ahead. And do it with our giant box. But we're not done yet. So now we have this material cut through. Uh, so, so for these pieces, 
I did not order the so the edges. I just got um, an unfinished edge. Flat grind is, is is what this is. Pencil grind is a rounded grind, and this and this is just nothing. Just default. Just it's straight. The glass is just cut like that. It's actually not that. Not that it looks. It doesn't look bad. You know, it's just it's sort of un. It's sort of raw. Compare that to. Uh, I'll show you. I already had one of the baffles. From, I was going to use this as a brace in, in the sump, but I found that the baffles themselves are the brace. You don't need you don't need a top brace with a big sump because the baffles they are bracing it. So I had this piece left over. So this is all. This is all Starfire glass. But this one has a different edge. Hard to get to focus just right on that, but I'll really do it. Uh, so the 12 inch piece is the one of the back pieces. Okay, this will. I don't know if you guys can see how, how tight that is, but it is absolutely perfect. Perfect. Fit. Look, I can let go of it. It's it's so perfectly. <laughs> that is that would have been really really dumb if that had just happened. I almost dropped the baffle onto the floor of the tank, which probably would have cracked it. So this one's the only problem with this one really is this bottom piece right here. See the, it's not broken, it's just cut, there's a little flaw in the, in the corner. That's the kind of thing, if you get a finish, if you put a, a pencil or a, a flat grind on it, that kind of corner flaw won't be there. It'll get grinded out and it'll it'll just look perfect. But that's that's just what, you know, I, I didn't spend as much money, so I didn't get the edge grind. And that's, that's what you get. You know, you get the small imperfections that don't get hidden by the... Um, edging process so this piece also looks really nice look at that man i love this starfire glass it just looks so neat it's like really absolutely flawless surface all right here's the last piece so I, don't, I only there's only four baffles right? i only needed to order three pieces because i already had one and <clears throat> um there are only four only four compartments or four chambers in the in the tank. So it's a sump, right? I can't. I've, I've already the fact that I'm using glass baffles like this uh, is already sort of overkill. So doubling the price by getting some kind of nice edging on them, I didn't. That didn't make a lot of sense. So now the difference is that um, it's going to be like super duper robust because. This is tempered glass. It's quarter-inch tempered glass, and the glass is going to be siliconed, heavily siliconed into the tank. The tank is just going to be really heavy. <laughs> um, it's going to be like super, super rigid and strong. And I'm not, not going to have any concerns with like the structural integrity of of the sump. I am going to have concerns with like breaking it when I move it. You know, it's like one of those cake things that you they make this beautiful cake and they have to move it like eight feet and they end up dropping it. I have to move this from here into the the main the room where it's going to actually live so fortunately i have big strong teenagers so it should be okay oh wait a minute i have one more thing isn't that crazy those little 13 inch pieces of glass i like well done stuff and this <clears throat> this uh this definitely falls into the category of like like well done you know like packaging like this i've, I've ordered three times that uh, it's been perfect every time no no, no breakage so all right now we're done.